Right, my name's Dale and I'm from Down Under and I drive a submarine for a living. So I'd like to share with you my journey from start to end here at Match Guarantee and what I've gone through personally. Let's start at the beginning. I obviously have different goals and expectations to the ladies at home, probably like many of you, hence why you're looking here. After doing a lot of research, I found that this place was very similar to what I'm looking for. Uh, from there, I found Joe's videos. After I watched a lot of his videos, I liked what he was telling me. His, he and the, his team were quite knowledgeable and quite honest, even if the, even if sometimes the tr honesty was a bit hard here, but it was really good. Uh, once I was there, I clicked on the link below and I signed up online. They gave me a free Skype call with one of the psychologists and they would tell me what my success would be or most likely would be. I did the free introductory package where I wrote a letter to the young ladies. They all sent replies back to me, which is really good. I booked my flights, did that online, quite simple and easy. So, Igor. My name is Igor. I will be your personal concierge while you will stay in Kiev. He's your generally go-to man for concierge and discussion. He speaks great English. He spent a few years in Canada. He picked me up. He had his little sign there at the airport ready to go. He gave me his number before I even left home. So if I could call him up and have any issues, I could just call him straight away on the Wi-Fi. So I've just landed in Kiev. I've just flown in from Melbourne. Uh, left Melbourne, it was 48 degrees. That's now zero. He drove me around. He showed me around. He gave me a history lesson even driving into Kiev. From there, he took me pretty much to Maidan, the centre. He showed me where the office would be, where I'd be meeting the ladies. He then walked me down to show me where to buy roses and how much you expect to pay for a rose and how many roses I should get. He showed me to different, he pointed out different restaurants and cafes to go to. Good nightlife, he showed me everywhere to go. The importance of being a sharp dressed man. Make sure you wear a nice suit. Make sure you shave, unless you've got a beard, in which case you'll be fine. Take care of yourself and your fingernails aren't too long because they do read a lot into how you look and how you present yourself. So the way they read into your appearance is if you take good care of yourself, you're gonna take great care of them. I know it's a little bit strange compared to at home, but here, if you look after yourself, they know you're gonna take great care of them as well. So let's see, in total I went on around, it was 10 first dates. They're all incredibly beautiful, so much more than their photos. Their photos don't really do them justice. They always like laughing and they always have a joke and they always smile. So the hardest part for me so far has been choosing which one to spend all my investment, all my time with. Uh, compared to back home, yeah, I'm definitely out of my league. Here I'm dating nines or tens. Back at home, I'm probably dating sevens. So you'll definitely, you're definitely going to a higher beauty level of lady when you come here. And then my first date when I landed here, I went down, literally just down there, where I ordered, got me flowers. I took them up to my first date, where I met Joe and the psychologist. They ran me through some tips and advice on things to do and things to prepare and my first date where I should go. When the lady walked in, she was incredibly beautiful. So I gave her the flowers and gave her a kiss on the cheek. She smiled and was very happy and we went on our way to our first date. Uh, the date was really good. I was incredibly nervous on the date and incredibly tired but she made me feel relaxed and at home and she was very friendly and open and incredibly beautiful. So, you know, the tiredness disappeared pretty quick and so did the nerves after a few laughs and a few drinks. Uh, the date went till around 5 a.m. in the morning. So it was a pretty long, good date. Uh, my second date was actually a uni university professor. Uh, she was incredibly smart. She had great English as well. Third date was with a doctor. Once again, very smart. English was very good. There was no issues there. For me, the hardest part was looking past the beauty and actually finding someone who I want to marry and be with the rest of my life. And my fourth date was the one that I have been on several dates with. We've been on a few dates now and we have great chemistry. We bond really well and we both have the same goals and expectations, which is probably the most important part. Funny story I'd like to share with you about Google Translate. So January the 19th, there's a tradition here where you dunk your head underwater three times, generally in icy water. I decided to send her a text message asking her questions about it. And what I asked was whether or not you can do it in a warm bath at home, because I'm not hopping in cold, ice cold water. And what Google Translate transferred it to is, would you like to bath with me? 
She perceived me as sending her messages about sex. She presumed I wasn't serious about a relationship. I was just here for one thing. But after the consultation and more chatting, she's been able to realize that no, it was just a miscommunication and we've grown a lot since then and we've got a lot closer. So after this, I realized how valuable the coaching really is with Joe and Anna and the psychologist upstairs on how helpful it is and how much it really does advance and improve your relationship. Without that, the relationship would have been over and I would have been starting again with a whole new lady trying to rebuild the same rapport that I already had with this one. So thank God for the unlimited coaching. I can see it's been a huge part of my success and without it, one of my relationships would have ended before it even really had a chance to blossom. So in a few days, I'm gonna leave, go home on the 31st in a few days once I get there, we're going to communicate daily and we're going to send pictures to each other and, and then I'm going to have to organise my next trip in back to Kiev in around two to three months. Overall, the trip's definitely been worth it. It's definitely been well worth the expense. It's definitely more about the journey than the destination and so far, the destination and journey are lining up really well for me. So I've got no real complaints and I wouldn't hesitate to do it again. Have you been searching for a beautiful wife? Do you dream of meeting the perfect woman, but haven't found her? Well, imagine if there was a simple way this could all change for you. Imagine if there was a Canadian marriage agency that would introduce you to as many beautiful women as it takes until you find the one. Ukraine, a lost world of beautiful traditional women. At last, a place where you can find the beautiful wife you have always dreamed of. Every Ukrainian woman dreams of having a happy family. Now you can have a traditional beautiful wife from Ukraine, creating happy family memories forever. So what are you waiting for? Register right now and Skype our beautiful ladies completely free. So what makes us different, you might ask? Why not ask Google simply by searching Match Guarantee Reviews.